Hey everyone, in this video you are going to see a haul. I think you guys like those, maybe. Yeah, I think you do. I'm going to show you some craft supplies that I purchased from Etsy, which is an online craft website. And I'm also going to show you some items that I purchased from Amazon. There's some craft supplies, there is a Happy Kitchen set, and there is also some phone accessories. So yeah, stay tuned and I hope you like this video. Let's do Etsy first. I only purchased from one shop and it was this one, but as you can see I purchased quite a bit of items. I'll put the link to her shop in the down bar. It did take a few weeks to get to me, but that wasn't a problem because it was clearly stated how long it would take, so it wasn't a big deal and I was expecting it. I have been really interested in looking for cameo base settings. You can decorate these any way you want and personalize them, so that's why I was really, really excited to get them. I will do tutorials in the future if I end up making some really cool ones. Both of these bags contain five of each pendant. Here is another variation of a Cameo Cabochon base setting and I got four of these in this bag. I got this bag of 50 12 millimeter kind of glass half marble type deals. These are actually for the Cabochon or Cameo base settings but I didn't know like which sizes I would be getting and um, I got three of these key pendants and it has a spot for one of these marbles. But, as you can see, you know, it's too small for that, but I will find a use for them, don't worry. So if you would put a picture in here, and then put the little marble guy over it, then that would be a way to finish your pendant off. But I'm going to be doing this with resin, so I would cap it off with resin, so I'll show you that when I end up doing it. But here's a better look at these beautiful keys, I love these pendants. I got two of each of these hollow hand-blown glass covers and I'm going to be doing some really fun projects with these. I got two necklaces. This one is an elephant as you can see. And then I got this beautiful heart pendant necklace of course because I love hearts so much. That definitely clashes with my outfit. I got a bag of 30 of these little mini cup charm pendants. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I got 10 of these really cute peacock charms and 20 of these little owl charms. I also got three of these owl charms. These are pretty cool. I got six of these really adorable bird nest charms. I love how the pearls are the eggs in there. It's so cute. This is a 10 pack of cameo base settings. As you can see, they're pretty basic. I got 10 of these silver hunger game pendants with a mocking jay on them. And because I ordered so many things, I was sent this Mockingjay pendant necklace for free. I got 10 pairs of these awesome silver glasses charms. I got 10 of these silver lace plate rings and these are really good for making miniature food settings um, on a ring base so you could do like a tea set or um, just some type of dinner so hopefully I'll do some of that and do tutorials in the future. Finally I got a pack of approximately 100 eye screws and I also got 10 of these cute little glass bottle jars with the cork in them. They came with these mini eye screws so I can turn them into charms. I'm really, really excited to start filling these bottles and making them into really cute charms. That's everything from the Etsy shop. I definitely recommend that shop. So go check it out if you want to buy anything similar to what I did. And um, you'll have uh, the craft supplies for when I do the tutorials in the future. That's a thumbs up plus sign. Now moving on to Amazon, I'll link everything in the down bar of the specific shops that I bought from. Starting off, let me tell you that right now I have a droid, I don't even know what it is, it's a Go phone from AT&T, and it's a touch screen, but I broke my iPhone 4, sad face. This is old news, but I get an upgrade in April, so I'm going to upgrade to iPhone 5. So that's why I'm showing a couple iPhone 5 accessories and I don't have an iPhone 5 to actually show for it. I'm excited for the future, okay? The first thing is this little phone clutch and it has this wristlet strap. So it opens up, it's a magnet. And then you put your phone in this little case and there are compartments for ID and credit card or whatever you want. So I really like this. I think it's a really good idea for if you're going out with your friends or something um, and you don't want to carry your purse. Like you can just carry this around when you're shopping or whatever. 
yeah, skip like this with it. So that's good. That's all good. And then I got a new case for my iPhone 5 that does not actually belong to me yet. And I haven't even seen it. You know, my future iPhone 5. It came with this stylus, which is pretty cool. It has like this little rubber tip that actually works on touch screens. Who would have thought? Anyway. <laughs> So it has a little cutout, which is where the little Apple logo will stick out. I almost got an exact replica of my bow case for my iPhone 5, but I'm like, why not just try something new? So this one is really elegant. And then I believe this is a screen protector and maybe a little cloth to like wipe your screen off with. When I showed you my phone, you're probably like, what's the cute little bear on top? I think it's a Relicuma and it's a dust plug. So basically that goes into your earphone port and... You know, it's supposed to keep dust out, but, you know, people just use it for decoration. This is what it came in, the little bear guy. He's so cute. He's a pluggy. Another thing that I got that can actually work in this phone and not just iPhones. Oh, shoot, but I have to take my bear out. Okay. So a bear has to go on standby when you use this. But this is, like, the coolest thing ever. I have been wanting one of these for so long, and I finally got around. I'm, like, talking to you guys on the phone right now. Like, call me maybe. You can set your phone down and just use this to talk into. And it's, like, old school, like, rotary phone amazingness. I don't know. I love these things. I kind of wish I would have gotten, like, a leopard print one maybe. But this is, this is cool, too. It's just plain. Plain Jane. Then I also got this set of bow dust plugs. There's a bunch of different colors in here. It's the same thing. It plugs into the top of your phone or wherever your little plug is. It just dresses it up a little. Bows like my shirt. Uh-huh. You guys should be excited because I also bought some plain dust plugs with little charm loops and such. So I can do a tutorial in the near future of how to make your own dust plug for your cell phone or iPad or iPod or anything of that sort. So yeah, it's going to be a really cool tutorial. I got a pack of, I think, 20 white ones. And then I think I got two packs of 12, which would be 24 of these black ones. Now, this is the first problem I've really ever had with online shopping. I ordered the same thing in these transparent ones as I did with the black ones, but I only ended up with two. So I am contacting the shop owner. I don't know if they will do anything for me or if they can do anything for me. I don't know what like store policies are or anything like that. But I only ended up with two and I should have had 24. So I, I don't know. Sad. I believe the final thing that I purchased is this Happy Kitchen or Pop and Cookin. It says Pop and Cookin on their seat, but it's actually like Happy Kitchen right here. So this is a soft donut kit, and I'm actually going to be doing a video on this very, very soon of me um, assembling the donuts, um, making the donuts, decorating the donuts, opening this kit and stuff. I have the box open, and this is what the inside package looks like, but you guys will have to wait to see the rest of the stuff and how that turns out. This shop owner was really, really nice, and she's like, my child put this little pack of candy in for you, so that's really cute. I don't know what it says. If you guys know how to read this stuff, you can tell me. This is one of the cutest little notes I've gotten, so I was really happy to get this. I believe that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out lots of craft tutorials and other hauls and other stuff like that, you know. Please follow me on Twitter and my Facebook fan page and on Instagram. All of those links will be listed around and downtown and whatever. But you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye. I've been trying to do my hair a little differently for you guys so it's not always straight down. So here's a braid, twist and shout. Bow shirt. And the hair in my, in my mouth, I think. Maybe it wasn't. That's so hard to do. Thumbs up plus sign. That song was a thumbs down. Yeah, we'll forget I did that.